Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, going to walk you through all of the things you need to know about changing your built-in domain in Squarespace, connecting one from somewhere else, buying one through Squarespace, etc. So let's get started. Remember to click subscribe if you like our videos. And all right, let's jump in. So on your Squarespace site, this as usual is my sandbox site, so excuse the craziness. But on the back end, you want to navigate to settings. So it's this little gear here. This changed kind of recently, and it took me a minute to find it. So that's where it is go to domains and click domains um, this is where pretty much all of these instructions will live um, so first let's change that built-in domain so click here we have built-in domain click right on it and you can type this in here so let me just like change mine to ajm sandbox you would click save confirm and then just note this is that built-in like dot squarespace.com domain so it would be ajm sandbox dot squarespace.com this is that free never expiring domain squarespace gives you and typically not the one you use because most people don't want that like squarespace piece um, if you want to keep your site free then cool like there you go um, so that's how to change that built-in domain next i will show you how to buy a new domain through squarespace so again typically you want to let's go back into settings you want to get a domain without that dot squarespace.com you just want your own so go into domains if you want to do it through squarespace they're a great domain host they recently bought i believe it was all of google domains domain names so they're getting more into the hosting business for domains but anyway click get a domain so here you're going to type in what you want let's say i want like hello adrian experience oops if i can spell it right dot com so type in what you think you want, hit enter. Um, a lot of times what you want won't be available. Like if I wanted, my name is Amanda, if I wanted amanda.com, that's of course not gonna be available and it'll tell you and it'll suggest others too. So that's great. Let's pretend I wanted, I don't know, amandafamily.com. Um, all you need to do is add that to your cart. You can just click this cart here. If you decided you wanted several, you can add them all to your cart. A lot of times people want several ones. I'll show you how to set your primary domain, but just in case you wanted several, you can add several to your cart. Go to checkout, and then you would follow the prompts to buy that domain. Um, it is, uh, I think, $14. Uh, your first year is discounted. Then it'll be $20 a year, which is very standard across pretty much any platform or any uh, domain host. Once you purchase that, it will connect direct immediately to your website. So that's really a super easy way to do this. Um, another option is to con connect a domain from another host. This is what I typically do. All of my domains are in GoDaddy. So if I click use a domain I own, I'm going to need to type it in. So this is really random, but I know that I own a domain pizzaandranch.com. I bought this forever ago because I thought it was funny and it was available and I just still have it. Um, it's going to give me these options. We'll come back to transfer. It will tell you here, this is kind of nice to confirm like, okay, I've typed in the right domain. Click connect domain. Okay, you have a couple options. Option one is to click get started. What that's going to do is it's going to prompt you to sign into GoDaddy. Follow these steps. These steps are pretty straightforward, so I'm not gonna click through them. But what these steps would do is connect you by name server. This is specifically for GoDaddy. Every host is different, and I've linked in the post. Um, Squarespace has a guide for all the most popular hosts specifically. So I suggest following your specific host. Um, I don't suggest doing this process. So this will try to auto connect. Uh, typically by name servers is kind of new and sometimes by altering the DNS, but it's just been really glitchy lately. It's really not been working. So I've been doing this manually. So I, instead of clicking get started, I've been saying no, use DNS records, select your provider. Uh, it will auto select typically pretty well. Sometimes it'll just choose GoDaddy and you can change to other um, and click to connect domain. So if I do it this way, okay, so if I do it this way, it's going to pop up this box prompting me to sign in to GoDaddy, which you would need to do. Um, so let's go back. So let me get back in here, sorry. So let's say user domain I own, canranch.com. Um, get back in here, okay. So if I click get started, I believe for GoDaddy, this will just do name servers. If you click use DNS records, it's going to want you to, so if I go GoDaddy and click connect domain, it's gonna try to do it automatically try it out see if it works this typically is my second most preferred option so if you click connect domain it's going to prompt you to sign into your domain host based on what you've chosen here and it's going to try to auto connect it sometimes it works great again i've had an issue like lately where it hasn't 
So what I've been doing just to be foolproof here is choosing other and click connect domain, click continue. Then here, what you're going to need to do is add these records to your DNS. So this is not, again, I'm not going to go dive into all that right now. This is, I'm really showing you more of the Squarespace side. Follow the Squarespace guys to do this. It's going to show you how to do it. But like within GoDaddy, for example, I would go to that pizzaandranch.com. I'd click edit DNS. And then I would go in and add these. So you would add a C name with this host name, this required data. Sometimes these are labeled a little differently, but it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and you'll need to add these or change any that are already existing. Um, so that's how to connect from a different host. And again, it, it does change a bit based on um, you know who the host is. All right, so let's get out of here and get back in. And I'll show you how to transfer from a host. So if you go to domains, go to use a domain at own. So once again, let's go pizza and ranch.com. I don't know why that's so hard for me to type. And it's always going to say recommend because of course they want your money. But if you wanted to transfer your domain to Squarespace, rather than have them in a different place, you can totally do that. So click on it. You're going to need an authorization code. Again, I have linked this process um, in the post. Squarespace has different, uh, guides based on your host so this might be different but you will need to go in somewhere in that host and request sometimes you'll need to unlock your domain and then in the process of doing so or say transfer away from godaddy or something the prompt is always a little different and you're going to need an authorization code along the way save and continue um, this does take up to 15 days and i've seen it actually take that long so no don't do this if you need to like launch your website tomorrow um, so save and continue and that would go in the process but it does take some time okay then last thing i want to show you i'm going to just pop over to this site since i have multiples connected so you're going to need to go into your settings oh my gosh and of course my little thing is in the way my little toolbar okay um go back into here go to domains and if you have multiple connected you can click into one so for example i would click into ajmexperience.com it's connected this one is already my primary domain, but if it wasn't, you can click set as primary domain. So again, you can have as many domains as you want connected to your site in case someone types it wrong, or if you had an old domain and now you're using a different one or something like that. But this, you can set your primary domain, so no matter what how they get to your site, it always auto directs, like in the toolbar, it will say this primary domain. Okay, um, that is all. Again, make sure to check those guides. I, I, you know, diving into all the different domain hosts would be a very, very long video. Um, so check all those different guides to make sure you're connecting things properly. Hope you enjoyed. Again, remember to click subscribe. Thanks so much.